hi everybody welcome to my channel a very happy new year to all of the people those who've been here for me those who've been there with me for my entire journey last year and also if you're new here a very very happy new year to you and welcome to my channel my name is Akriti and how are we doing today well today's video is mostly about me really wanting to wish each and every one of you a very very happy new year I know it's a little late we are almost through January but I was sorting out what I wanted to put on the channel and I was going through evaluating what I wanted and what I didn't want and I also feel I was just taking a little time out to kind of you know get back in the groove and you know feel really inspired and motivated to do videos because honestly i think it's important to know what you're going to post on your channel you want to line up what you want to you know for people to see what you want your viewers to know what you're thinking like you have to have like a clear headspace in order to put out content and you know want people to like it because if you don't like what you're posting people are definitely not gonna like it. See, that's how I think about things. I want people to love what I post and I would want to be assured myself on the first place to know what I'm posting because if I'm not happy, nobody else will be. Um, that's what I think. Uh, anyway, uh, so today's video is definitely a very happy new year wish to all of you. Thumbs up for that. And I'm hoping all of us are gonna make 2018 like one of our best years to come so good luck for that and uh slay 2018 uh keep the grind on and also i just thought i would reflect a little bit of what my motivation is or what my mantra is for this year i just thought i want to start my year on a very positive note so that's what i've been doing i'm trying to keep my focus off like all the things of like what are not working out what are you know sometimes you're in the space where you're like oh my god why is this not working out i'm working so hard for this and i personally feel when when we are striving for something it's not about just working hard but i feel when you're striving for something it is also about having you know the vision for it or having the persistence and the motivation for it so you cannot just work one day and say oh why am i not getting it or why am i not getting there i think we need to be persistent we need to be like focused on what we want and we need to get there and we take gradual steps obviously at achieving whatever we are trying to so the thought here is all about being motivated i personally feel that it's very difficult every day to get out of bed because that happens to me a lot of times you know i think when things are working out for you say for instance you, you want it like a b c and say you have a b like you achieved it you got it so it's kind of easier i feel to work towards c because you're motivated and you know you're self-motivated you have all the running and flowing in your body and you you know things are working for you so you're you in it you're on your a game and you know you're killing it every single day so i think it kind of gets a little easier a tad bit easier to get c but i know how it feels sometimes when you have like goals you have like a b c and none of the goals are you know you you can't strike even one of those goals and i know sometimes it's a little too much because we as humans you know we can have like our fragile zones where we're like you know why aren't things working out for us why is this a so hard what's the matter why is this happening and i know it's very normal and it's very natural to happen it happens to me all the time it happens to everybody all the time i think because at the end of the day as i said we're humans it's bound to happen and there's nothing wrong about it and at the same time there's nothing to be sad about but this year my motivation and my mantra as i said once again is all about looking at my bullseye you know just keeping my watch for the bullseye and not seeing any other thing i really want to target and focus all my energies into only positivity um there are times when you know i'm like going through several books like december i was listening to a couple of books i would link down a few books if you want me to because uh, that way if it helps any of you and if you want to go through those books like I definitely as I said I never read I'm I'm like on audible to listen to books it's easier that way because I drive and I listen and I think it's kind of insightful sometimes you know to self-discover I think I might be touching on a lot of like small topics but they are big topics in itself because I think we all need to self-reflect reflect sorry in once in a in once a while like 
a little bit every time because i personally feel i was going through a book and like a very recent book i'm going through is called the high performance habits and he and it's by brendan burnshard and he has like a youtube channel as well where he talks like motivation stuff he is really good he is like a high performance coach i think i like to listen to him because he like is very motivating he says and i personally believe too i think there's a lot of synergy between his thoughts and my thoughts and that's why i like to listen to him him and his book because when i listen to him it resonates with what he uh, preaches or he kind of you know motivates you to do or propels you to do which is really amazing because he says in his book that you know you should like work through your week and by the end of the week you should self evaluate you should say what are the things i did which were good and what are the things we didn't do and when you like put the goods and the bads together you kind of get a self estimation of what are what are the things that are working for you and what are the things that aren't working for you and that way every week when you self evaluate you kind of you know just keep striking all the bad things you're doing or things that aren't working for you so you kind of get better so that's what i'm saying so i personally feel that i am definitely mostly motivated i really want to get to everything probably i never say never to anything i want to do all of it everything there is in the world i want to do it all but there are times as human where i feel fragile i feel like oh why is this not working for me oh i wish that was working for me i feel that and i go through those phases and i have realized that when i go through those emotions i don't really gain anything all i do is lose myself and i kind of you know get like uh really really lost in those emotions and i don't want it so i have made sure that i like write down my goals and i i put in the positivity and give in all my energy into positivity only think about things that are working for me things that are flowing for me and i want to make sure that i'm just saying this to you cuz you know i had this kind of conversation with like a couple of my friends the other day and i thought was nice to know everybody's like inside of what they are thinking what like it's not re- really a resolution i would say cuz you know i don't think resolutions are really something that work i think when you really decide that you want to be like this person and you work for it it could be like june and you could do it it could be december and you could be wanting to do it it doesn't matter i think it's the day you decide that you want to bring that change and it's the day that you decide that yes today is when i'm going to do you know so and so things and these are the things i want to change about myself and these are the things i want to work about and work on so i think that's what i'm doing too so this video is all about the intent of this video is all about telling you what i am feeling like at the moment and what i want to feel for the rest of the year and what i want the year to be like and i want it to be really positive i want it to be really really motivating and i want it to be super super um amazing year for all of you as well the reason of this video and this post is all about making sure that each one of you is as motivated as as pumped as like a new child you know having the same curiosities and having the same gesture and the same like enthusiasm to learn i say it's hard but having that enthusiasm and waking up every single day thinking would i do exactly the same number of things i am doing right now if i were to know it was my last day and if that's what you're doing you're like right on track you're doing the perfect thing like you go girl or you go boy yeah you're headed in the right direction and you're perfect it makes perfect sense i'm sure your life but if you're one of those people who find it a little bit you know you know you know you're juggling between a lot of emotions and this happens and that happens and sometimes it's like a little too overwhelming i know how it feels cuz i've been there too um so i want you to just say you know what i'm going to stay focused i'm going to stay positive i'm only and only going to work and be consistent guys like i think the four golden rules is to according to me like i believe there are like four four or five golden rules i live by first is be yourself whatsoever like no matter what be yourself you shouldn't change for anybody cuz you're unique and you're unique for a reason cuz you know you are going to go places because of your uniqueness cuz nobody else can ever ever imitate you cuz it's just impossible cuz you're you and you're unique that way i'm definitely not saying that do not self evaluate and don't you know change your habits and become the best version of yourself cuz that's my second mantra i want 
to be the best version of myself all the time I know it's very hard there are a lot of times when as I said a lot of emotions get you know cloud my vision always self-reflect what you're doing because it's important always be the best version of yourself I know there are times when I'm you know, like my judgments clouded by my emotions I know all of that happens and there are times when I take like stupid decisions and I do stupid things and there are times when I have to like literally go back to people and say sorry to them because I didn't mean to you know get upset with them or upset them with. but I just feel at that spur of moment I do certain things which I'm not proud of or that's something which is not real me because I just did it in the spur of the moment I wasn't really intending to or mean to do that because I'm not a person on the first place but you know we all do it so that's what I'm saying so my second mantra is always be the best version of ourselves it's very important Third, I think we should all live life like it's like the blissful, the most blissful thing in the world. Because I think it's very important for us to acknowledge the fact that we have a life. We, we are like privileged human beings which have the resources. We have the power, like we have the human power to do or bring the reform, change our lives at any point of time we want. Like if we don't have things coming our way, we... Are not doing things right and that's why they aren't coming to us because people those who are willing to take the chance people those who are putting in like 100 percent of themselves all the time are definitely getting there so if we're not getting there or if you, i'm not getting there or if you're not getting there today or tomorrow it's not because of you know how that's how life is and you know it sucks i don't think that's the case i just think we're not working hard enough and guys i'm sorry i've switched on to my phone now because my phone, my camera died on me and I didn't want to like just, you know, get like lost or cut off in the thought. I can find the second battery to my camera. I don't want to get like lost in the thought and then not never be able to come back. And I think thirdly, it's very important to give the respect everybody deserves. I know I say it, there are times when I'm like not respectful towards my relationships. Sometimes I take them for granted where I know my mom's gonna do that for me, you know I definitely thank people but you know there are times you know what I mean when you say you're taking things for granted You know, they don't have to like do the extra mile for you, but they do You know, there are times when I'm like making a video and I need somebody to help me They're walking out of their comfort zone and trying to do it for me You know, and I know that they do it There are times when I take it for granted and then there are times when I'm like I'm sometimes I'm like really thankful because I like know that they're doing that extra effort for me and they're putting in you know the time out of their like busy schedules and I really appreciate that but they are at, at the same time they're like so many times when I'm grumpy I'm like why couldn't you take that picture right or why why didn't you take this angle right you know for for my video or for my uh, for my photos on Instagram and I get grumpy I, I know I shouldn't be because you know somebody else is making the effort of doing something for me so i should be grateful so i'm saying this is like a small tiny example i'm just giving you there are a lot of times when we all take things for granted which is so wrong we shouldn't so i'm just letting you know that we shouldn't and i want to do that too so that's my third rule never like always be polite always be thankful always respect the other person because if you do respect the other person is what you're giving to them and that's what you're gonna get in return because if you respect someone that's when you will get your or earn the respect back because it's very important to give before you get back because i think that comes to my fourth mantra is to give i think the bigger giver you are the more you will you know get in return because honestly when we do something with the intention of seeking something we are really not justifying what we're doing because we're just doing it for the heck of it i think when we think a little beyond ourselves and we just give because we feel the joy and we feel the pleasure in giving to somebody it could be something really small it could be something extremely lavish i don't care and i think we none of us should care as long as you are a giver so i personally feel the fourth rule is that you should be a giver than a seeker because the more you give into the universe, into the positivity for people, you feel happy. You are indirectly helping yourself because when you do that, you feel so happy that you're indirectly bringing happiness back to your life. Um, you know, so you have to do that. So I thought I want to be a giver. Like I want to remember each and every day to be the giver. And the fifth thing I would say is always push through your comfort zone. 
it doesn't matter how comfortable you are but it's important for you to push through that and you know get out in the world you know seek more than what you're comfortable with i think it's important i think when i was a younger version of me i would do that way more often i would be like doing this and i'm i'm doing that and i'm finding this opportunity and that opportunity i think i did that a lot more than what i do now and i feel i was way more motivated i think when i was like when i would push through a lot of my comfort zone i would be like so happy because i'm like constantly challenging myself so i did that quite a lot i say it's important to always push yourself out of the comfort zone because when you do that you i think that's when you really really evaluate and you really understand what are your strengths like your real strengths because when we're sitting in our comfort zone when we're in our niche we're like so happy about it we're like you know we're more comfortable we are the best at it we are pros at what we're doing and we kind of get like you know we're we get accustomed to it and we lose the charm of it eventually I, I was when i was a little kid and i started to learn to drive my dad was the one who actually started teaching me and i would look forward every time i would come back from school um i would like look forward to you know going for that driving class in the evening because i'd be like oh my god i'm gonna learn this i'm gonna learn how to reverse i'm gonna learn how to park and that would make me so excited and you know leave me excited and the entire day i'd be like dreaming about it when am i gonna go home and when am i gonna learn that so i think whenever we try to learn new things i think we are in a way pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone because we do not know how to do it and that's like a new thing we're doing to our body so our body reacts very you know excitedly about it and that's what you want the excitement so i think when we push ourselves out of our comfort zone is when we really develop a void and and that void is actually filled up with excitement and the more excitement you have for life the more happy you are i think so i would say the five golden rules which i want to live by which i do live by at the same time i want to preach i want to be able to follow more of it all through 2018 is what i'm i have decided I'm going to make sure that I'm, you know, being myself all the time, like the better version of me, like the best version of me all the time. I'm going to try to emphasize, I'm going to try to do more of that. I've decided that I'm going to be more and more thankful, way more respectful to everybody I know. Like I genuinely, like I do not know, but if you went into my family and asked people, they would definitely tell you that I'm very respectful of people. So don't misunderstand me. It's just that I'm saying I don't want to take anybody for granted. I want I want to respect them more because that's where I want to see myself. Like, so I want to push myself out of my comfort zone all the time this year. I want to do new things. I want to be more of a giver. I want to be like more respectful to all towards all of my relationships, all of my friends, way, way more respectful than I am usually. I want to be uh very very true to myself i'm gonna be more more way more authentic but i'm gonna be definitely a better version of myself and i want to be like you know motivated all through 2018 every single day i want it to be like oh my god today is the day today is the day so that's what i want to do and i want all of you to do let me know what you think and what do you want to how do you want your 2018 to be just do let me know in the comments down below because i love love to read all your comments I see that a lot of people used to comment me way more, but now I see a lot of people commenting on my Facebook, like they message me rather than commenting on my on my videos down there. I would love you to comment on the videos as well because it's I think it's nicer to, you know, uh, read the comments and reciprocate. When when everybody comments down and under the videos, everybody, you know, gets a chance to read them and then you can, you know, give your own feedback. So it's like a little conversation we can have like on the bottom. So I think I am a little sorry and a little guilty of not being able to post that often all through January. And it's only towards the end of the January that I'm posting my first video of 2018. But I'm looking forward to way more videos coming out because I have like a good lineup planned up for you guys. And I hope you are excited as well. And also, do let me know in the comments down below what are the things you would want me to film because I would love to do that for you guys. And also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to do that. And also, 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 please, please, please subscribe to my channel because it means the world to me when you do subscribe to my channel. And I would say stay positive, stay motivated, and be very, very true to yourself. So I'm going to leave you on that note. I'm going to give you a little bit of time to, you know, self-indulge uh, into these thoughts and do let me know what you think and all the very best to each one of you uh, for 2018 to be a wonderful 
and a rocking year for all of you. And until next time, bye. So guys, to watch up my previous videos, please click here and here. And also to subscribe to my channel, click right here on my face. And thank you very much.